Hello everyone, welcome to Stitch for Life. I hope you have seen the videos which was uh, published on our channel regarding our uh, uh, solar panels designs as well as other technology. Uh, we want you to be clear uh, like how you supposed to be designing the solar panel at your facility at locations. Uh, the solar panel design is purely based upon the locations and it's just matter it's not just matter of uh, kilowatt or kva whatsoever, whatsoever. Uh, it's purely based upon the location and orientation where you're going to mount that and um, it's purely based upon the latitude and longitude and lot of weather conditions as well as well as the uh, panel specification too yeah uh, today we are going to uh, see the locations uh, one of the location in india so i could say here uh, the exact locations uh, that will be uh, it will be in the state of uh, uh, Bihar and uh, the exact location will be the Gaya. Okay, it's uh, almost 120 km from the city of uh, uh, Patna. So it's located uh, towards to the south side. Here the locations will be the Gaya Tree Temple, uh, Chintamani Road. I could say the nearby landmark would be Ramswagar, Talab, Dharmashala, Karnataka Bhavan. So that's the locations we have considered uh, the solar panel sizing, so, which you are going to discuss about on this video. Uh, you could say here, uh, we believe you, uh, you have seen a lot of videos related to the solar, how it's supposed to be sized and uh, it could be the uh, selections is could purely based upon the locations where you are going to mount and how it's to be. and uh, a lot of uh, criteria you have to take care about that uh, uh, it's not just a matter of plug and play job and all if you are planning for some kind of perfect uh, solar panels so i could say here you have to do a lot of uh, background works and then you have to go for, for the installations if you're then you can go for these kind of calculations so that's what we are trying to explain here uh, so the exact location i could say here uh, they said latitude and uh, longitude could be it will be 24.78 and uh, 85.0072 so that's the exact uh, location uh, i believe have got some information about how the solar panel is supposed to be and all uh, so we are trying to um, you know explain how the solar panels to be selected you know what we do is uh, we used to take a prehistoric data about the weather condition and all and we used to calculate all the uh, parameters based upon the weather condition climatic condition given the temperature etc so there are a lot of um, characteristics will be how to work out on the systems before going to install so that's how it's supposed to be uh, even our team of experts had many years experience from the global projects we are also getting to many people as well uh, the thing is so um, when you see the solar panels like what we do is we used to take the historic data as well as so we used to size the like uh, what load you need to be used for daily or weekly or yearly like how, how do we want to uh, supposed to be designed so based upon that we calculate the load and then we size the panel so that's how it's supposed to be uh, so many people you know working in this field uh, if they have any concerns probably you can put a mail to the c at gmail.com uh, so here we are here to help you a lot um, so before going to these systems we'll see like uh, what are the loads we have considered here uh, for these locations you know what we took is here we have taken the assumptions mode in the sense of what loads generally be used in the residential or commercial could be so we have taken that loads calculating you know every day how many loads you are using and how many loads you require for the entire year so thus we are doing it here so we will we'll see that uh, what loads we have considered here so we have considered here 25 watts uh, uh, load phone number running for uh, 5 hours uh, per day and 10 watts uh, load a uh, phone numbers uh, is running four hours per day 100 watts loads two number and it's running eight hours per day 100 watts load uh, one number and it's running uh, six hours per day 50 watts loads uh, two number it's running for 12 hours per day uh, see, see here uh, we have not uh, considered any of the higher rating loads a kind of geyser or any other um, air conditioner even if we talk about the heating applications nothing is considered we have taken the minimum loads uh, which is required or daily uh, consumable loads at any of the place and then we used to calculate all the weather conditions and then we used to size the panels so, so according to these uh, loads uh, you need to generate uh, 1472 units per year so this is the very minimum calculation we have taken for these locations 
so um, it could be like monthly if you can say here 122 units it's the average what we are talking about if you talk about the summer it will be higher uh, if you talk about the rainy seasons it will be uh, the uh, units will be generated very less uh, so we are giving the readings for the entire year it's a complete average if you talk about the early then you can get by divided by 12 i could be able to see that for year how many units you are going to generate from the system so so that's how we do that uh, uh, so for this um, calculation also uh, we have considered the pv uh, polycrystalline panel for this um, uh, design so uh, if you are plan to go with the mono of course you can go ahead with that so according to the sizing so um, i could say here uh, we have taken all the condition of course yeah that's done so for this uh, to achieve this load you have to go for 1500 wp panels to uh, generate uh, these many units uh, for that location so we want you to be sure that's the unit what we are saying for only that location if you are shifting this panel to somewhere else or far away or other district of state there will be a lot of impact on the system so as well as the orientations as well that's what we are trying to explain here uh, so if you want to store this energy to the backup that's we call as autonomy if you are planning for a day or two or five you can increase the number of batteries uh, if you want to make uh, day autonomy probably you can go ahead with uh, eight uh, number of batteries uh, if you are increasing number of backup systems uh, like uh, two or three days then you can put a number of batteries by putting series in parallel to achieve the autonomy uh, uh, i hope all the details has been covered here so many people only go and install the systems but you have concerns uh, like uh, what units you are generating exactly that you are not sure as well as many of the people's uh, firms are working in uh, projects related to the solar if you have any concerns on the systems so how the exact readings if you are planning to see on doll probably you can put a mail into c solar life at gmail.com thank you for watching this video thank you bye